All right, so this is my last hill climb of the year, but hill climb, so this is the Uni Hill Climb Championships, effectively. It took place in Loughborough, and it was a rubbish climb, I'm not gonna lie. It was about two minutes long, two and a half minutes long, about 6%, I averaged like 28K an hour, it was rubbish, rubbish. But, you know what, it was the last one of the year, gave it full gas, and it was, uh, it was a decent result, like I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the best result I've ever had. Um, but we're going to talk about this climb and then we're going to talk about my hill climb season in general, nationals, etc. So two and a half minutes, I basically did a two minute power test about 460 this week, which is not great. Uh, and decided that was around what I could do. So set off pretty hard um, and then settle into a decent rhythm. And on this steep part, it sort of like goes flat, got quite steep here, like 7, 8%, which was steep. Sort of dug in a little bit, tried to get up back to like 480 or so. You can see here now out the saddle. Again, it's a fast climb, so staying error is pretty important. Had an NV front wheel and then just a lightweight tub on the back because I reckon that's faster slash my NV3 wheel is not ideal and all the rest of it. And I didn't have a cassette on it, so it was effort. Uh, but anyway, we're now over the steepest part, really, of the course. It then flattens off a little bit, so I was trying to drop the power down a little bit. Um, sit down, as you can see here. 30k an hour up this part so really really quick and then there's a right hand corner and it kicks up after that so that was the key point here again out the saddle 480 490 it's like decent power so all in all i did 451 watts for two and a half minutes which are 58 kilos is about 7.8 watts per kilo so it's decent it's nothing mental like so my best ever for like two minutes is like 480 490 something but that was also before my crash on my stages power meter and I was heavier as well. Here's my friend Thomas Arkell giving me some big abuse and I decided to whack it up here. Um, I was a little bit soft, but to be honest, the pacing was pretty well. A lot better than previous hill climbs I'd done, mainly because I had no ego this time and just realized that I'm just not that strong anymore compared to what I used to be and that you just have to do the numbers you can. Which obviously you can probably allude with what I'm going to talk to you when the climb finishes just about my hill climb season. Am I satisfied? Am I not satisfied? How I think it went overall and how I think maybe in the future how I will do hill climbs and also compared to just like general numbers in the past um, and places as well. So anyway, this is the last part. Watts are a bit rubbish here, but then I said, oh, it's 30 seconds to off season. Just whack it. So you can see back up to 450 watts um, and the finish line is about to come. Sorry about the angle. I had the camera in the bad part of my chest um i don't need to still figure out which is the best but anyway here was again like you know coming up to the line done and i was binned so anyway now we're just going to talk about the hill climbs so i'd say first of all i started doing hill climbs on the 4th of september which was a mistake i shouldn't have done them so early i did dursley and it was a rubbish ride i didn't do very many watts like 380 for five or something uh and because my cassette was like skipping and i had a mechanic anyway it wasn't good it wasn't good uh, and then the weekend after that, I then did Swindon Wheelers, which was again, was like, okay, it was like a 10 minute climb, came third in that. Uh, and then another like short climb where I didn't have much watts. I was quite heavy, it was like 61, 62 kilos at that point. And I did some more and did like 380, 376 up Sodbury for like six minutes and it was okay. But anyway, I think all in all, like my results wise, if you looked on CTT, like I got three third places um, and then like the rest were top tens. There were two non-top tens that were decent but i did have one shocker up belmont where like i just had no legs and basically gave up and came like 80th and then yeah the nationals so the plan was this year was to focus on nationals right so the plan was less hill climbs which obviously i didn't do i still did like 10 which is too many and just train for nationals so i did a big block early on august september 20 hour weeks really just like you know some hill climb efforts which maybe it was a high, in hindsight a mistake but like twice a week and then just four, th three to four hours and all the rest of the days. And generally, if I do an 80 hour week, 80 hour month, sorry, the next month I feel really good. So nearly about 85 hours in September, felt pretty strong. Came into all October, had a rest week, which was good. Did a hill climb on the weekend, which was Chippenham Wheelers, did quite well. Um, came third, feather only beaten by like 30 seconds on a five minute climb, so it was all right. But again, I did about 380 watts at 59 kilos, so it's like 6.4 watts per kilo, which is just not that good. Um, in comparison, in like February, March, I like just whacked a com or tried to get a com and I did like 385 watts then for five minutes and was like training for TTs. So the numbers weren't really looking that good and it was a bit like, why? And then when it got into October, I then had a lot of uni, I had labs a lot, which I wasn't expecting to. So a lot of my feet a lot, didn't really recover. And like, I just sort of was racing and the numbers were okay, but every session I was doing, the numbers weren't getting better. Like normally on hill climbs, because they're so, so high, so much high intensity. Every time you do them, the sessions get better. 
But this year, they just didn't. Like, my one and a half minutes just stayed at like 4.30 the whole time, 4.20, 4.30. I never got up to 4.50, which is what I did in 2018. I got to the point where I could do like four times one and a half minutes all at like 4.40, 4.50. So that was interesting. Uh, and that was sort of like, well, why is that happening? Um, so yeah, like that was sort of an interesting point. And then I guess my like sprint power, I did some of my best one minute power. I did, or I never actually ended up doing a minute because all the climbs around here are a little bit shorter. But I did 600 watts for 50 seconds at 58 kilos, which is like 10.3 watts per kilo, 10.2 watts per kilo, which for me is quite good. I'm not really a punchy person that well. I'm definitely better over like 10 to 20 minutes rather than like five minutes. Um, well, I think now I used to be the used to be different. I used to be better on shorter five minute climbs. But anyway, always like a minute to sprint. I'm rubbish at. So that was quite promising. I did like some of my best 20 second powers of all time, including like like all of all time, like including pre-crash. So that was nice. Um, but all in all, like the numbers were okay. The weight was less than it's ever been. So I was 58, which um, was good and bad because it meant if I did the numbers that I used to be able to do back in the day, I was flying. The issue was my numbers just weren't good enough. So like if I could combine what I used to be able to do at 300, when my threshold was 330 and yeah, 58, obviously I'd be really good. So the sort of the question is like, what happened with my hill climb season? Because in reality, the numbers really aren't that good. So I think the thing is, it's probably a lot of things. I think like I definitely towards the end really stopped enjoying hill climbs. I think it took them almost too seriously. Uh, and I think sometimes like that's good and it's bad, but I think sometimes it didn't help. Um, I think maybe focus on my weight a bit too much, like just didn't eat enough sometimes. Um, and maybe like being 58, I lose some power, but then it was similar power to last year. I think the big thing is like, does hill climb training work for me? And it doesn't. Like, what seems to work for me is just like general hill, like general riding, and then like a little bit of intensity. But I think I overdid the intensity probably a little bit too much. Um, and I think like my sleep was also like not great because I would have to wake up like like maybe six, seven a.m., which for me is a lot earlier than I normally did, and didn't go to bed much earlier. So I think my sleep was worse. So I wasn't recovering as well. Um, just because like obviously you go from like the holidays when I, all I was doing was making YouTube videos and that was basically it to then like being back at uni where I have to be in the labs a lot and it's more like having a job. And I think that definitely didn't help my performances. Um, so yeah, it's sort of like my post analysis of the hill climb season for me is like relatively important. Uh, and if we talk about nationals itself, it was really a shit show. That's the only way to describe it. Um, like. It was a climb that really suited me. It was a climb where I could have gone really well. And I know that actually on the day, if things had turned out, I could have got a really, really good result. Um, like, yeah, um, with 600 meters to go, I was on the same time as the lad who finished 15th, which obviously, you know, there's 300 meters left of the climb. So two thirds of the climb was the same. Um, and the last minute I did like 300 watts. And so there were some issues like, they're all my fault. Like, there's, there's, it's not like, I want to blame anyone else. You can't blame anyone else, but the point is you want to uh, establish the issues so that next time when you do nationals, that it doesn't happen again because last year's nationals were also not good, but then 2018 was really good and I had a really good performance in comparison to the rest of the year. Um, so it was just like, just faffing the day, like when we got there, like I was changing my wheels, changing my chain, like put my race chain on it. So I should have done that day before, that was stupid. Um, so then my warm up was bad. I couldn't, didn't have as long warm up as I wanted to. Um, which is not good. There was just too much stress on the day itself, which I think was bad. Like it was, you know, I needed to be a bit more in a relaxed headspace. Um, and then pacing wise, I went out too hard. Obviously everyone did, but I went out like a, a fine pace. So I did about 420, 430 watts for the first minute. I wanted to do like 400, that was the goal. I knew I probably wouldn't do 400, but that was like, if you aim lower, I hoped to do like 420. And then the plan was then just to ride like 450 watts, the last part, which I thought was doable. Um, now, obviously again, there would, was one issue where as soon as I hit the steep part, I did for like 500 watts for 30 seconds. That was bad because it really blew my pacing strategy. Um, and because then after that, I was really cooked. The second part was tire slip. Again, like, you know, you, that's your decision of running coarser speeds on my tubs, which I do. But then I ran them at 60 PSI, but I should have done like 40 um, because reality is I'm not that heavy. 60 PSI is probably fine if you were like 80 kilos. But for me, like I have got tire slip. I climb a lot better out the saddle on those efforts. So that was an issue. Uh, and then, yeah, I obviously blew up. And the thing is, is like, I think I'm quite, uh, I wouldn't say psychologically weak, but maybe I am in terms of the fact, like if I'm going badly, I just, I, I just can't hack it. Like at the end, I was just like, 
oh, what's the point? Like all this stuff. I wasn't like in a positive headspace. And I think for me, it's really important to be in that like positive headspace of like, I'm gonna do well. And I think that's one thing I definitely know about hill climbs is like, if I just go through the motions, I never do as well. I've got to be really up for it. And I think that's definitely an issue that I have had in some hill climbs. Uh, so yeah, all in all, like nationals are disappointing because that was really my goal. Like my goal wasn't the other events. Like they went well, I had some good results, but ultimately like the goal was to perform the nationals. It suited me, well, it suited me more than some of the previous climbs. And the fact that it was so steep was really good as well. I had a really good bike. Like there was a lot of things where, you know, if I'd managed to ride at 430 watts for three and a half minutes, four minutes, which I know I can, then I would have got like, you know, top 40 or something, which would have been a really, really good result. So it was a bit disappointing that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and I guess yeah, the final part is, did I actually enjoy hill climbs? And I think this is the biggest issue is that towards the end, I just didn't enjoy them. And I don't get paid to do hill climbs. So if I'm not enjoying them, there's no point doing them. So then moving forward, I think like, how am I gonna address this in the future in order to improve my hill climb season? I think so last year I said I did too many. I still did too many this year. And I think there's a couple key points. So I think variety of places, I don't think doing the same hill climbs every year is not that fun because you just get bored of them. I think secondly, do less because it messes up with your training if you're doing two a weekend the whole time. And also it takes up so much of your time. I think you really then start to just like get too much into the hill climb thing. And I think do ones that you actually enjoy. Like I did one which was near here, FDB racing. It's just up like a main road. There was no crowd. It was like a five minute climb. So and like, it's just like, I had like a two or three weeks of just every single one being about five, six minute climb. And I just go out and ride at 380 watts and just do that. And it's like, it just gets boring and you just execute the ride, but it's not fun. It was just like, I did it and was like, that's just pointless. Like I didn't enjoy that. Like there was no reason to do it. It wasn't good for training. Like, I got seventh or something. I was like, it was all right. But it's just like, there was, I was, that one was really like a turning point for me. I was just like, nah, let's just not do it. So I think, yeah, no, just take it less seriously next time. I think that's better. Um, just do less races, do the ones I want to do. Like I want to do some longer ones next year that actually like I'll do well at, not these stupid two minute ones, which like I can get to a right level. And if it's steep on a two minute climb, I can do okay. But like, I just don't have that punch. Well, like for a five to 10 minute climb, I know I have a way better chance of doing well. Um, and yeah, just generally enjoy, like just, chill out a bit more I reckon it's good um, and just do less start later and just train more like I normally train like don't do four intensity sessions a week which is basically what I end up doing like yeah the volume's less but just do the fundamentals of doing two hard sessions a week okay if you're gonna race on the weekend maybe you're gonna do one race then do efforts afterwards or something like that but don't do two efforts Tuesday Thursday race Saturday Sunday that this doesn't add up um, so yeah that's why I've came to the conclusion of the hill climbs. Uh, and then I guess immediate thing is week and a half off, which will be nice, just relax um, and whatever. And then after that, just start training for road racing and TTs next year, which will be nice. Um, I'm gonna start road racing again, which will be good because I'm actually good at it compared to TTs and hill climbs where I'm okay. But road racing, I actually get some good results because I don't know, I just seem to be able to do quite well in them in comparison to TTs and hill climbs. So that'll be nice and also it's a change and all the rest of it and I'll be racing my friends, which will be good fun. And yeah, just see what numbers I can do. As always, the goals are to get back to my fitness before my crash, which I think may be impossible because I think my power meter might read differently or all the rest of it. Or I was just really good and will not get back to that level because I don't have the hours to train. I'm not sure. But that's the goal for the year. Just enjoy myself on the bike um, and not crack in hill climbs like I have this year where I just hated life and it hasn't been good. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you next one.